lecture we will learn how to find the equation of a parabola when a focus and the directrix line is given then we have to find the equation of parabola but before going to find the equation of parabola we just take a short review of the definition of a parabola which says that a parabola is a set of all points which are equidistant from a fixed point which is we called a focus and a fixed line which is called a directrix so if here is a parabola then a point set of points which are equidistant from a focus and this directrix line means this distance is same so if i suppose that this point is p and this cut at point m then by the definition of parabola pf distance of pf which is equals to distance of pm and if this distance is a the distance between the focus and vertex then the distance between this directrix line and this vertex point is also same so this is a short review of this and basically we use this information this definition so here is a focus and here is a directrix line so for the solution of this let's suppose that p having coordinates x y b the point this is a point on on parabola and the directrix which is and the directrix which is x is equals to 3 so if i make this equation as x minus 3 which is equals to 0 so if i draw this perpendicular line from a point to this directrix line at a point m means using the distance formula of a point which is p x y to directrix line which is x minus 3 which is equals to 0 so we have to find p m means this distance so it says that x minus 3 divided by 1 square plus 0 square with this radical sign and which is equals to x minus 3 and divided by 1 plus 0 with radical as i explain the formula that what is the formula that we use here but first of all we solve it and it will be x minus 3 modulus so this is a distance between a point to this directrix line at m so what we use the formula here that if we have a point which is x1 and y1 and a line which is ax plus by plus c and we have to find the distance from a point to a line which is d which is equals to ax1 plus by1 plus c with modulus means put the values here and the square of the coefficient of x which is a square and the y which is b square which is this so basically we apply this distance formula from a point to a line over here now we have to find a distance between p f p f so by using our distance here is a focus point and here is a point p so by using our distance formula between these two points so it will be x minus and minus 3 squared it we use a distance formula between two points many times so i just apply this over here and y minus 1 square with under root so x plus 3 square plus y minus 1 square with this radical sign and p f so by using the definition of a parabola the distance between p f which is equals to the distance between a point to a directrix line which is p m x plus 3 square plus y minus 1 square with this radical sign and what is p m which is x minus Three. So now we solve it. Take our squares on both sides. So it will be x plus three square plus y minus one square, and thus this radical sign cancel out with square. And here is x minus three 
square x square plus 9 minus 6x and here is y square plus 1 minus 2y and here I open it x square plus 9 minus 6x. So if you see that these terms are cancelled out with each other so we are left with which terms? y square minus 2y plus 6x plus 1 and plus 6x which is equals to 0 and if I solve here so y square minus 2y plus 12x plus 1 which is equal to 0. This is our final equation of our parabola. Let us take another example for better understanding. The focus point is given and the equation of the directx line is also given. So for a rough sketch we again draw a random parabola means if I have this parabola here is a point here is a focus here is our directx line so we are given with this focus and this equation of the directx line then we have to find the equation of the parabola so by again using the definition of a parabola so let's start the solution so let us suppose a point P which is P X Y having coordinates X Y on parabola which is a point something here is P then direct X line is X minus 2 Y minus 3 which is equals to 0 so if I if we draw a perpendicular line drawn from a uh, draw from a point to this direct X line and suppose that this point is A then we have to find the distance of PA means our distance from a point to a line at a point A that we already discussed the formula in previous example so just apply over here so it will be x minus 2y minus 3 divided by 1 square plus minus 2 square with a radical sign so if I solve it x minus 2y minus 3 divided by 1 plus 4 with this radical sign and it will be x minus 2y minus 3 divided by under root 5. We have to find the distance between two points which is pf. So to find the distance between two points will be here is a focus point and here is a point p. So we apply a distance formula over here which is x minus minus 3 and square plus y minus 1 square and the whole term is in a radical sign. Now the next step is that x plus 3 square plus y minus 1 square and this is in a radical term and this distance is a pf. Now by using the definition of a parabola which says that the distance between a point and a focus is equal to the distance of a point to the direct x line is same. So by using this we see that the PF distance is equals to PA distance. Now just put the value of PF and PA over here. It will be x plus 3 square plus y minus 1 square with radical sign which is equals to x minus 2y minus 3 divided by under root 5. So we have to take a scale on both sides to get rid of these radical signs. So it will be x plus 3 scale plus y minus 1 scale and this whole term is in a scale it will be x minus 2 y minus 3 scale divided by 5. So in the next step we just open the scales. So it will be x scale plus 6x plus 9 and plus y square minus 2y plus 1 which is equals to if we open the square it will be x square plus 4y square plus 9 minus 4xy minus 6x plus and the whole term is in divided by with 5. Now in this step we apply a cross multiplication so if we multiply 5 with this whole term then it will be 5x square plus 45 plus 30x plus 5y square minus 10y and plus 5 
which is equal to this term write in a similar way x square plus 4y square plus 9 minus 4xy minus 6x and plus 12y. After solving this which is 4x square plus y square plus 36x minus 22y plus 4xy plus 41 which is equals to 0 and this is a required equation of a parabola. So in this way we can find out the equation of a parabola when we are given with a focus and a direct line. So if you like this then don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share.